Qmix 107.3 and Qmix.com present the Q Wake Up Crew with Don and CJ. I am completely distraught, Don. About? Armed and Famous. Yeah. This new hit reality show. Well, it wasn't much of a hit. Mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be a super huge hit after I watched the first episode three weeks ago. And it should have been. The show takes place in Muncie, Indiana. Mm-hmm. You have five celebrities or quasi-celebrities who were trained to be police officers with the Muncie, Indiana Police Department. Right. And after just four episodes, CBS has canceled Armed and Famous, unfortunately, due to a poor ratings. You know why? Because of American Idol. Yes, sir, Bob. I don't think anyone can compete with American Idol. We are just nuts about it. And it's kind of funny. You know, I, I really wanted to watch Armed and Famous as well. But when it comes between that and American Idol, I'm sad to say I pick American Idol. And, um, you know, what was CBS thinking? If they wanted this show to succeed, then why put it up against the hottest show in American history, American Idol? I it mean, is, come on. It is unfortunate because I personally think that if they would have picked another night to air it, that it would have done much better. No, I think they need to hire us to do programming. You know what? Why not? We have solved the world's problems right here on live radio this morning. I, uh, this isn't my old wedding band. I was wrong. My wife went and purchased a brand spanking new ring mm-hmm. on Friday morning because I lost my my wedding band, my original one, over the weekend, last weekend. I don't know I what know. happened to it. It's somewhere. I mean, it must have just disappeared into, a, I don't know, thin air, the fourth dimension. I don't, I don't know where. It is interesting. I wonder as well what happened to it. You know, and of course, I said that I thought that your wife had taken it and maybe had something engraved on the no. inside of it for Valentine's Day, especially since she had the perfect opportunity to take it since you had taken it off. But there's no way that my wife, no. she's not a prankster. She's as straight-laced as, you know my wife. I have a new rule when it comes to my wedding ring. Don't take it off. I am never taking this thing off. Right. That was the problem I faced last time. I, you know, I'd come home from work and I'd take it off and put it on the countertop right there where I knew it was. Really? So I have not taken this ring off since I, uh, since we left the jewelry store at Friday at lunch. I think it's important to uh, leave your wedding ring on unless, of course, for some reason, if you're doing something that's, that could harm it. But just everyday wear, I think is important. 